Charles, Charles, please, please cut me down. This isn't even funny right now. You're not going to cook me like those animals. So please, please just get me down. This isn't funny. everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today me and Treyoros are going to be looking at the Meat Hooks mod which allows you to become a butcher in your very own Minecraft world and then- What? Why? You're not- you're not a vegetarian, you used to work in the McDonald's dimension so don't- don't even give me that. You work for McDonald's now, is this you? Yep, Treyoros, you're slightly hurt. Why is that? Look at me when I'm talking to you. There we go. Treoris, why do you work at McDonald's now? <laughs> He's just trying to get out of doing some work, as always. But anyway, this mod adds a more complex yet fun process to gaining food and also works out for the better too. So let's get straight to it. I can't believe you tried to use that on me. What's wrong with you? But anyway, let's look in this chest here and this is all we're going to need to become a butcher in our Minecraft world. So the first thing is the meat hook, which is in the title of the mod. And to craft this, you're going to need four iron nuggets in this hook kind of shape to craft one meat hook. Then you're also going to need a fillet knife. I think that's how you say it. Fillet. Fillet. Very posh. And um, one stick and um, two iron ingots will craft one of those. And then you need a meat cleaver, which everyone knows what it is, which requires four iron ingots and a stick. Now, for the future, we're going to need some of this stuff too. But for now, we're just going to use these. So let's just grab these quickly and actually we are going to need the ice and we're also going to need the lava as well and these are for an another thing in a second so where are the animals oh, okay the testing chamber of course they're in the testing chamber here are our animals so at the moment you can only use this mod or use with this mod some cows some pigs and some chickens the others are still kind of i guess going to be added and what the treoris why have you named them I told you not to name these guys. If you name them, you get attached to them. This is why he tried to get out of it. He's he's not a vegetarian. He's just attached to the animals. You named every single one. We've got Daisy the cow, Gregor the cow, Stan the cow, Paul the pig, Hunter the pig, Trot the pig. Wow. Wow, your names are very inspiring, by the way. We've also got... Um, who is this? Let's get in this pen with them. We've got Tree. <laughs> Tree the chick... Tree isn't even a name. Tree, tree is a plant. <laughs> anyway, tree the chicken and the chicken and also feel the chicken. And I cannot believe you named these guys. Because I've got to go in and kill them now. And now I'm getting slightly attached. Oh my god. But anyway, we're going to have to do this. Let's grab, oh, let's grab a diamond sword. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to go. Let's just go into here. Let's start with the cows. Daisy, I'm really sorry. Forgive me. And Gregor, forgive me. And Stan, forgive me. So these are the things that cows now drop and the other animals. They actually drop dead versions of themselves. I know it's absolutely barbaric, but it's for good use. It's for good use. You kill them anyway for instant meat. So don't even judge me. Don't judge me at all. So next up is the pigs. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to say your names because it's just going to make me sad. It's just going to make me really, really sad. But anyway, <laughs> in comes all of the dead pigs. We've got little dead pigs in here as well. And now, I'm sorry, guys. They've just witnessed what's going to happen to them. It's the chicken's turn. Tree, I don't really think you're a chicken anyway. Your name was your name was Tree. Oh, my God. They're giving birth and everything. They're making me feel so bad right now. Actually, that, that egg's got definitely something wrong with it right now. <laughs> but anyway, fills down, ants down, and then we've got the complete set. So for some reason, the chickens stack, the, the pigs and the cows don't. But this is what you get given when you kill an animal now. Oh, God, we've got the baby. We've got the baby. We're going to have to rear this for ourselves. Oh, we're going to have to give birth to it. No, wait, wait. No, that's not what you do with an egg. But anyway, let's move on to what we can actually do with these things. So we've got three little three little stands up here. Yep, yeah, don't. Please don't look in that room. It's a bit of a mess. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise going in there. So we're going to have to use these meat hooks to hang up our meat. So let's right click to place a meat hook. Looks very, very cool. We're going to put the cow up here. And <laughs> I can't get over how amazing this is. Look, the cow is just hanging there. No, oh my God, don't get, don't get upset, please. I'm sorry. Um, and then we put the dead pig up here. And then we've got the dead chicken. The dead chicken's pretty funny. Look, it's hanging by its feet. Oh my god. So these are the different types of meat that you can hang up. It looks really cool. So if you want to set up a kind of like a butcher area or a butcher shop, maybe on your server or something, it looks really, really cool. But now we're going to have to prepare these for killing. So another thing is that these can actually rot now. So fresh meat in your inventory and in the world hanging up like this can now rot. And you have to act very quickly to stop them from rotting. And there's two ways to do this. There is either using ice or using lava. So, oh, why would you get in the way? I need to build there. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. But anyway, the mod creator actually suggests that you need to be having your ice touching the animal so that it doesn't um, rot. So I advise doing something like this should help. So at least it's being touched by ice um, in most places. So let's put some at the bottom as well, just like this. And I'm going to guess that's how you keep them fresh. Kind of like a freezer. Very, very cool. I think, let's see if you can put the meat hooks on the ice. You can't put them on the ice, so you're going to have to have kind, kind of some block at the back to kind of put your hook into. But other than that, these should stay fresh now and there's also another way which is smoking so you're actually going to be able to smoke these guys let's just do that and then add a block of iron here and now that should stay fresh so it's being like a, a smoked version of steak which is going to be pretty damn tasty i must admit oh my god so damn tasty so quickly let's have a look at what a rotten chicken looks like yep it's pretty damn gross, I must admit. So those are what your rotten kind of things are going to look like. And um, I would advise not eating them whatsoever. They won't bear meat anyway, so just get rid of them if they are rotten. But use these techniques, one of the two. I think the lava can be at least five blocks below, so it can be between one and five blocks below. Um, I would advise quite low so it doesn't set fire to stuff. But anyway, this is how you keep it all fresh. And now for the next stage, which is skinning these bad boys. Let's right-click the chicken, takes the feathers off. You actually get the feathers, which is a pretty cool touch. Um, skin the pig, so we've got a nice fresh pig. Pig. They're all naked and everything. Oh my god! And then the naked cow as well, which you get the lever from too, which is which is a pretty cool feature. I completely didn't realize it did that. And now we're going to have to harvest these guys. Look at them. I'm really I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. This doesn't really apply to you because you 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 don't have skin, so it doesn't really matter. Or flesh. You don't have flesh either. So <laughs> this is a win win for Grim. But anyway, let's see how to harvest the food. Let's right click, and you actually harvest three chickens for one chicken, which is the plus side to this mod. You may be wondering. Why on earth would I go through all this trouble just to get food? Well, it actually gives you more food than you would before. So you would get one chicken before, but now you get three. You've got a nice stack of pork chops there. We've got, um, how many do we get? We've got four, which is pretty good from one pig. Um, oh, God, this is a problem. Let's catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch all of the rotten meat. Um, it's not rotten. It's fresh. And then you get two beef from that. I think it'll range from like two to four, which is pretty damn good for just killing one little cow. And it doesn't take too long either. You can really speed along the process. You can just hang them up, skin them, and cut them up straight away. Way. But there's another option to doing this and something else you must take note of and I kind of mentioned it earlier is that fresh meat like your raw chicken your raw pork and your raw beef so all the raw stuff can rot in your inventory so a, a way to kind of stop this from happening is using the ice chest now to craft this you are going to need four pieces of ice four iron and one chest in the middle and this is what it looks like so let's just place it down quickly it's a nice really cool looking chest and acts like a freezer in your home so you just need to put the raw stuff in here I'm not sure if the cooked stuff will actually rot i would guess not because it's just kind of like normal meat but um i'm pretty sure that the raw stuff will rot in your inventory so either cook it quick or put it in an ice chest for storage where it will be protected from rotting very very cool feature there now we have one of my favorite parts of the mod up next which is the spit now for those of you that don't know what a spit is it's actually a way to cook meat it's kind of old school and looks hilarious so if you've never seen it before be prepared this is awesome so we're actually going to cook one of each so let's take our dead pig and our dead chicken as well and i think we're gonna need to go into game mode zero for this so let's just quickly switch into that and prepare ourselves with the spit prop and the spit so for the spit prop you are just going to need four sticks which is pretty simple you're going to need two of those and then you're going to need a spit as well which is just three sticks very very simple so now i've got a little bit set up over here and you're going to need a gap of two blocks between the spit um the spit props basically so you need to face one this way face one this way and then right click on one of them with the spit damn it it didn't work come on Come on, do this for me, please. Do this for me, please. There we go. Shift and right click is a little bit easier to place. And here we go. This is the spit. And now I know what you're asking. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Well, you take your dead animal of your choice. Right click and look. <laughs> this cow looks so upset. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of dead and about to get cooked. So what we're going to do is light a fire beneath it. I would highly suggest using... Um, oh, God. I would highly suggest using netherrack so that it doesn't spread. Let me just go into game mode one again just so that I can break this and light this up. There we go. Very, very nice. And now we've got our own little old school kind of cooker. So this is like your old school furnace. And it doesn't cook like this. No, you need to left click and it will start to spin. So spin for me, baby. Spin. Look at this. Now we're cooking a nice even cow. Look at this. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm sorry, but this is hilarious. A really ingenious way to cook your meat in Minecraft. And when you get, get ready for it, get ready. After one complete spin, your cow will be evenly cooked. Come on, come on. 
maybe after a couple of spins. I think it varies, actually, because before when I tested this out, it only took one spin. Might take a couple, might take one and a half. Let's see if it cooks now. Go on, two rotations, and then I can cook this bad boy. It looks so beautiful and tasty. I can smell it cooking already. Can you smell it, Treyarus? I know you want a piece. I know you do. Come on, cook, cook, cook for me. There we go, it cooked beautifully, it actually took a couple of spins afterwards, so about five spins that one took, but it is a very big animal. I'm guessing if you use like the pig or the chicken, it'll take less, like one spin for the chicken and stuff like that. And here we go, our naked yet cooked cow. Its eyes and nose are still intact though, very very nice. And now what we need to do is get our meat cleaver and then right click and it should pop off. There we go, we've got some cooked beef this time, so instead of your two raw pork chops, which you're actually going to need to keep um, fresh in the freezer you actually get a nice cooked set so let's put our chicken on here and see how long this takes to cook look how amazing these look that's right through his beak right through his mouth that's a bit unfortunate but you know he's dead there we go it took a lot less time this time and a very nice cooked chicken is ours how many bits do we get from that we have got two nice little cooked pieces of chicken and finally the pig poor little piggy oh his snout has gone it's gone right through his snout he's got his derpy eyes still though and his legs are just tied to this stick it's so it feels Feels so barbaric, but so awesome at the same time. And I think this is a really, really clever way to cook your meat. I mean, it's really old school. If you've got a camping mod installed, it'll fit very nicely with that. Come on, cook for me, buddy. Cook for me. You're going to be so tasty. I can smell the bacon already. Just cook for me. And there we go. The pig has been cooked nice and crispy. That one took longer than the cow, actually. So I guess it's just a random... Oh, God. Look at him. A little bit of him is still a little bit pink on the on the hoofs there, but that's okay. We can cut that bit off. And where where the hell did the run flesh come from? Oh, it's actually. I think that was a piece of raw meat in my inventory has turned into raw flesh. Oh my god. That's so clever, but anyway, let's take this, a nice cooked pork chop. We got three from that, and I think Grim is going to be very happy. Yes, he is. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful boy. And this is a really, really cool mod, so if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you haven't been new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. Now, I've been testing you guys again with these like targets, and if we could hit another massive... 10,000 likes. That'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you all for your continued support. Do check out this mod. It's very, very cool. Very, very clever in what it does. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>